Hello Virgo! Welcome to your March reading and March is going to be one heck of a month I tell you. It is going to be life changing for a lot of us. I'm not even talking about the worldwide events. I'm talking about everything that's going on around us and in your life. Now I hear the words before I even begin and this is for all Virgos. What the heck is going on? Those are the words that I hear. So let's take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo. This is a general reading. So take from the reading what is applicable for your life. It may be you. It may be your partner. It could be your child and their partner. However it works out, you will see a piece. And some will see all of the reading. But majority of you will be pieces of it. So check out your moon and rising sign as well. Now... What the heck is going on with our beautiful Virgos? Let's see. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. You're staying safe and you're being happy. And the card is saying, whoa, look at this. You have the star card. What the heck is going on? Something is taking place and we're going to look at you first, Virgo. And then we'll look at the details of who and what other situations are coming but right now this is about each and every Virgo no matter who you are this is for you so this is the star card where it can't it's just like you know we we work so hard to make changes to find the faults that need to be fixed and make those uh, corrections and course uh, new course instructions and plans and and turns of events now you also had the tower card it just flipped over on me so you just went through a lot of fixing and repairing virgo you healed something this could have been something that destroyed your life and your way of thinking it ruined your life it could be something that broke inside your house all right the tower card is a change that is coming into play and that's how i started this reading off for those of you who don't know, I hear it, see it, feel it, and the cards follow my messages that I'm guided to relate to all of you. So with this, this is a lot of healing. This is a lot of deep analyzing and deep introspection in order to get uh, to a place where we can see clearly through a towering moment like what came out. A lot of planning and preparing has been going into this, exactly what I said with the Three of Wands, and you have the Ace of Wands. So this is a brand new beginning where it's going to be exciting. And some of you, this has to do with a project that you're working on. I feel for a lot of you, this is a project that's an international project. And you've been looking on how to do this without, uh, almost like with blinders on. Okay, it's like trying to feel your way through all the life changes, which, you know, that's going on around us. And that's not an easy thing to do because we get so much different information. You type one word in and you'll right? You get so much information and it's all uh, pretty much different. It may be similar, but there's a difference in each and every one of them. So as you read thoroughly, that's not an easy thing to do. Now, I do feel for some of you, you're healing your own body. And as you heal your body, the plans that you made uh, five to six months ago, five to six months ago, are getting ready to come into play. Now, if you don't begin these in the month of March, which I feel for a lot of you, it will be closer to August of this year. A better time frame, particularly if you're going to travel and, uh, and very well, I don't care if it's in your own country, if you're going to leave your, your hometown, you know, and go far for a distance, at least two to three hours from where you live, it may be a little complicated. It's doable. It's just a little complicated depending on where you're going. Now, through this, you know, the star card is saying a wish is being granted. Well done, well done. That's what this indicates. Well done. Now, some of you, you could have Aquarius in your, in your sun, moon, rising sign, because this is all three signs that we're looking at, uh, whatever the placement is in your chart. But for a lot of you, and, and you could be dealing with an Aquarian, but this is you, uh, big moment where the wish that you had asked for is going to be granted. I feel that project that I'm talking about, whether that's healing your own body, healing your family environment, or putting something out there in the world, 
is going to put you in a spotlight. This is standing on stage in front of a small or large group of people and sharing whatever this journey is that you've been on or the journey you're about to embark on. The journey itself is our, you know, it's getting in our vehicle and taking action. It's walking every single day, whatever our journey is towards better health, toward better home, whatever that is for you. What journey have you been on, Virgo? Now, let's look a little bit deeper at this uh, because the Ace of Wands is, it's, and I just wrote a blog. For those of you in my free newsletter, I always send out, um, you know, messages to you guys, whether it's a sale, giving discounts for my members, uh, things like that. And as we go farther into March toward April, I'll be cutting off all the readings externally and it will only be for my memberships, whatever membership you're in. But this is that moment where you can see past everything in front of you and it's exciting. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I lived this long with these like blinders on me and I couldn't see it, but now I can see it. It's like this feeling of freedom and uplifting energy. Now, we're going to see a little bit more at what this is because you're following a path that you feel inside your core is the right path for you. And that's, again, job well done, right? Job well done. So, my beautiful Virgos, we have the blockage card for you, which just came out. And I shuffled the deck and you can see I pull them out. They fly out on their own. They fly out all the time. Pew! Um... It was Leo. I just did Leo's reading. So if you're dealing with a Leo or you're at the cusp of Leo, you, you again, you may have been dealing with a lot of blockages. Whatever the blockage is, blockage to gaining money, to getting a job, to making life changes. And again, I feel it has to do with this particular venture that you've been working on. This has had to do with planning and preparing, organizing, and you're very good at organizing, Virgo. You know how to do it. Whatever it is, is part of your destiny. So that may have very well been the blockage that you were dealing with in this scenario. And you have the card of the sun, which Leo had as well. So definitely those of you, and it was talking about destiny. So you, you guys, a lot of you are really tapping into your, your sign, the sign of Leo, which is just before your zodiac sign in the lineup. Some of you are absolutely getting ready to heal a situation. It's a family dynamic where there's been a blockage between you and a child. You may have been blocked from your own child and it may have everything to do with being at a distance. It could have even had to do with uh, uh, somebody needed to write some papers, write some papers. And when I say that, that could be through the courts. I don't see anything indicating court per se, but if you were close to Leo, it was something along that line in there. They had the Ace of Swords. So there is something very uh, deeply connected to the month before you. It may have begun in the month of August, all right, in the month of July rolling into August, just before your birthday season. But whatever this is, you have been dealing with it for well, four to five weeks, but four to five months is what I see for a lot of you. This is that type of situation you might have been asking. So when I say dealing with it, it doesn't mean dealing with the, the hardship or the pain of what we've been going through. This could be you asking, I'm ready to move forward. Please show me how to move forward. What is my life and soul purpose? And that's what I write about in that free blog, right? That's what's coming out. It'll come out tonight. Uh, on the on the first of March okay so this is a brand new situation where some of you are going to travel to go see a new grandbaby or baby it may be in a different country in a different location but it is a beautiful social gathering that you're looking at going to again with this you know with this sign the star card this is about that beautiful freedom I feel free I feel alive and I do believe some of you are getting ready to make this trip regardless of who you're going to see or why you're going to see it it is going to really open you up and it's going to start something amazing 
we have the magician. But in this deck, it's saying that you may be dealing with somebody who is a teacher. You yourself could be a teacher. And that's in any realm. That doesn't mean elementary school, which is probably what the first thing. I know for me, I always hear teacher, and that's the first thing I think of. But we have teachers in all areas of life. This could be teaching you your career endeavor, or if you are learning how to write, uh, and it is writing movies, screenplays, mm-hmm, yeah writing movies and screenplay you may get an invitation to travel to go have that experience and learn from a true master this is some of you traveling to see your family who's going to be the teacher okay or you're going to be the teacher to them and say no we do it this way all right we have the queen of swords a libra gemini aquarius individual definitely have virgo we have taurus Again, we definitely have uh, Aquarius in here. So you've got the Queen of Swords. It's time for you to cut out any of the, the bull that you've been dealing with. You know, manipulation, deception, anything on a low vibration, you're, gonna, you're cutting it out. Because you know, in order to heal, you've got to release, you've got to move on from whatever this situation was. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, they may have done that to you, most definitely, or to a Leo around you, anybody around you. But it has everything to do with your destiny. It has to do with this beautiful Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is starting a brand new beginning that is filled with excitement. You've got the passion to put the hours of time and all the dedication into this particular project. Oops. <laughs> sorry about that i lost you i didn't mean i hope it came back on so you have all the dedication all the time to put into this project into this new endeavor and that's the passion inside of us and passion goes so deep it actually comes from the core the center of us so you guys, this is that moment for you to really soar and grab the bull by the horns. And I mean it like literally. So let's take a look at whomever you are dealing with because this is a very positive reading. I feel you are overcoming a blockage that has been there for a while and now you're getting ready for the good stuff. And it seems so impossible when everything seems like it's falling apart but is it falling apart in your world or the outside world? We have to tear down everything, us, our outside life, our little small world and the external world. So that's what we're doing. We're taking place right now. Now the card that you have is the King of Wands. All right, and the King of Wands is an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Now, again, it may have begun in the month, in the season of Leo, all right? It doesn't have to be that person. For some of you, this is somebody who may be coming in, but I feel for the majority of you, this is somebody you're dealing with. This is somebody that you really held in hell, high regard, hell regard, <laughs> in high regard. This is somebody you care deeply about, and I do feel there's love, and I feel that this either is a a uh, relationship partner to you in a romantic relationship or it is a family member there's something about this king of wands you know and usually they're very uh, charming and very charismatic they stand out in the social spotlight they're the ones that laugh in the back of the room they have that unique laugh that everybody is like what and they just are very drawn to this person so when they're in the upside down phase, they are not a cool person at all. I feel you were dealing with somebody who was very manipulative and corruptive, that they used their charm and their savoir faire to, to sway people somehow, some way. Now take a step back because this person may or may not have changed. I'm gonna pull one more card in and see. But with the hangman, that is looking at it from this way, this way, this way, this way, and every different direction there is. Now, I'm going to stop for one second, you guys. I have readings are available right now for a limited time, and then I'll be pulling them. I also have Micro Vibes, my new book, and it's talking about what I'm talking about. 
Everything is in the description box below. You can just click that drop down arrow or go to my website and you will find it there. So watch everything they say. Look at this person and figure out whether you can trust them or not. And there are ways to do that. Again, in my, in my book, this is the final judgment call. Now, I feel for some of you, you're going to remove anybody, like I said, that is not on the up and up, okay? If they are blocking you from your true joy, from your true happiness that you are meant to have, if they are blocking you from taking that project that you've spent hours and dedicated so much of your energy toward, if they're blocking you in any possible way, you're going to say, I love you, but no, I will love you from a distance. I wish you all the best. And it sounds a little cold hearted because that that's not what anybody wants to hear, nor do most of us want to say it. But the truth is, if they're blocking you from you being happy, who who's supposed to be happy, you or them, right? It's like you have to weigh the whole thing out. For some of you, you'll say it's you and others will say it's them. But by looking at it from every direction, you're going to see if this charming individual, whether this is family, career, anything, your own partner or child, whoever this charming individual is, they're bordering, uh, I'm hearing the word seductive with their words, not necessarily in a sexual way, seductive meaning come to me, listen to me grab on to whatever I'm saying and they're able to steer the crowd away from you putting all eyes in a different direction so look at this individual if they are are corrupt in any way if they are that sneaky magician kind of energy you're you're like you're going to make a judgment call and you're going to say you know come here tell me the truth okay I need to know the truth about what happened about what's going on and you're going to make that judgment call. When you make the judgment call, Virgo, this is your inner child coming back in and saying, yippee, I feel alive again. I finally feel good. And now you will be restored with energy, vitality, vibrating high. And you're going to start a brand new, uh, a brand new venture in your life. Really positive, positive messages for your guys' this month of March. It is going to be an amazing year. Now, throughout each month, I give you the inspiration to different ways to avoid and, and continue to raise in a high vibration. But that doesn't mean there won't be things thrown at us. And in your case, it is that king of wands. Okay. Now, there was a player card in Leo. And again, I just did Leo before you. So um, there's somehow an, a connection. Okay. A connection between them. We have the card of honesty. All right. Honesty, being honest with the truth, uh, the the queen of swords, which really represents the so zodiac sign of Libra. Being honest when it comes to this Aries, Leo, Sag or the Aquarian individual, because this is about you being ready to stand out in a spotlight. And when we're talking about a disagreement with somebody and you are speaking your peace, all eyes are going to be on you. You may blow up in front of a group of people and everybody's going to be watching you. So be honest and be diplomatic and use your words the way that you know how. We all can be condescending and we all can have the negative vibes. We're made to have both positive and negative. But in this particular situation, the positive vibration is what's going to help you get through. And that is based on authenticity so being honest with you is going to win you back but being honest to that person is going to win you back and keep you whole and on track so my beautiful virgos please thumbs up this video we're going to look at love 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 in a separate reading have a wonderful march thank you for watching